Hi, this is Kathy from Peonies and Lilacs, and today I'm going to put together a mason jar bouquet. I've had some questions about um, how to do it because I know a lot of you just have a standard mason jar in your house. Who doesn't these days? So this is something almost anyone can do. If you have flowers in your yard, if you have a mason jar or some type of glass in your house, you can do this. So I'm working with Celosia for my fillers and leaves. I have some Agastache for spike. Gives it that little bit of height. I have uh, zinnias, calendula, and black-eyed Susans, and possibly one straw flower if I decide to use it. Oh, and some Cosmos for my discs. It gives you the nice round shape in the arrangement. And then for what I like to call the wow factor, I have toothache plant again. And that's the kind of thing that just sets it off. It makes someone look at your arrangement and go, oh, what's that cute little thing in there? I never saw that before. It's toothache plant in this one. Sometimes it's raspberries, sometimes it's tomatoes, sometimes it is who knows what, whatever you find in the yard that looks really cool that can um, stand out in your arrangement. So I'll go ahead and get started on this and just to give you an idea of where I'm going with it, I don't like to do the C formation and building it in my hand like some people do. I like to just work right in the jar. So I'm just going to start with my filler, build up from there, trim as needed, and we'll see how it goes. All right, here we go. That's our arrangement. I did add some basil flowers in there for a little bit more height because I felt like the agastache was falling over a bit. Um, I love the floppiness of agastache though. It's like it kind of just goes bloop whichever way it wants and it gives so much movement to the arrangement. Just so pretty. Plus if you love your pollinators you have to plant it. They are all over it. My mistake was planting it at the front door. So everyone who comes to my house is greeted 
by possible stings. Sorry. Anyway, I did add a pretty little bow to my jar just to dress it up a bit. You can add ribbon, you could take um, tissue paper if you like to hide your stems and wrap it so that it comes out. Um, whatever you'd like to add to spice it up and make it look nice, especially if you're giving it as a gift. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, yeah, this one was fun to do. Nice and easy, no pressure. Find whatever you have in your garden and work with it. All right, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the garden.